Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a knit, knit initial letter or a knitted letter and you can use this for a lot of different things. You can use it as an ornament for your Christmas tree. You can use it as a really cute personalised napkin holder or ring. Wedding favour, the list goes on and these are so so lovely. I'm actually using these to gift to my employees in my company for their all their hard work alongside another gift. I'm going to do them knitted so I'm going to use some double knit yarn. I'm doing I'm going to do white. You can get any colour really that you like. I'm going to use some wire, a three millimetre aluminium wire. I'm going to use this prim knitting mill which is how you are going to make your knitted tube and i'm going to use some ribbon okay so first of all we are going to take the yarn if you are new here please like and subscribe i love 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 new subscribers and i love just sharing all of my crafts with you that yeah there we go and then i'm going to kind of hook it through now we're going to put it through the middle. Okay, so you go one and three. Okay, that's the third. Then we're going to go over the fourth. So we don't want to hook it on the fourth, okay? Amazing. So you're going to do that again. You're going to go on The first one, second one, third one, and fourth. Then you will put your weight on. So if you need to hook your weight on, hook it on now, and then we'll carry on going around, okay? So when your weight is pulling on the middle, it should start making the tube. So you're gonna turn these couple of rounds slowly and then you're gonna get a couple of things like that where it just will not go through. But if you carry on, it will eventually <laughs> go on. You just have to get the tension right, okay? Your braided cord, which you are making with this, is going to be coming out of the bottom here. So you'll see when you've turned it enough times, you will see your cord being made and it's very pretty. And you're like, oh my God, I did that. Okay, so just when you get a rhythm going, it looks just amazing. It just looks really, really good. I'm so happy with that. So we're going to be making a letter K. So... Okay, so that's the basic just drawn. So it's going to want to be about 40 centimetres or about 12 inches of this. Okay, here it is. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so amazing. <laughs> right, okay, so it's going to be twisted. So you need to untwist it. Just make sure, you know, it, line, it all lines up. I'll cut it short there and then we'll see what we're going to do with that. To kind of take this off, all you're going to do is wind it the other way, okay? So wind it the other way when you're good and ready and then it, oh my gosh, take that bit out. And the hooks should all just come off, okay? If it goes like this, just pull and it will go down to something nice again, okay? I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna thread through the wire. Okay, so we're done with that. Thank you. Knitting machine, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna take our wire. This is three millimeter aluminum wire and pop it through this top part here. And it should have quite a gap in the middle and you're just going to make sure it doesn't catch. Just do it slowly at first. 
We don't know if this is going to be the full length of our K, so we're just going to leave this open. So if it is too long, we can take it down. We can unstitch that. Okay, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. Let me know if you'd like me to do an, uh, a longer name sign in this as well. Um, because that's what I used to do in my shop. Oh my God, this is cute. Okay, so the this is going to be like this little bit of the K. Use a darning needle to tuck it in. And you're going to kind of put the needle already inside, oops, inside here, because this is so short. There it goes. Pop that through. Then you're gonna kind of make it come out one of the holes here, and then that will be all good. There we go. Okay, so that when that's in, you can then cut that bit there, and that's all nice and tight. Okay. We will be turning around this part of the K really carefully like this to make a loop at the top. Then we are going to be, we're going to be going down and then kind of around like this. And then you get this part and it will go around like that. Push that down. If you want to, let's see. Oh, let me know how you'd like it in the comments. But look, you can do this. So yeah, we'll leave it like that. That's cute. There we are. There's the K. All you can do is just literally cut there somewhere. So you're going to pull on that tail and it's going to be to around. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Okay, it's going to be to around there. And then you're going to cut the rest of the wire when you're happy with it to where you are. And you're going to do another kind of little twiddle like that. So we're going to leave a tail, we're going to pop this on here and then it's not as complicated as it looks, I promise. So there's going to be four little tiny loops and you just have to put the needle through each of the loops. And if you miss then it will create another loop and you just do it on that loop. So just no worries at all. I've made it easy for you. Okay, there we go. So once you've done that, you're gonna to go to the end of the wire and pull. And then just kind of sew a couple of more rounds through that. Okay, there we go. Right, and then when you're happy with that, what you've got to do is just trim that off. And then if you want to, you can then kind of do that to finish it off. There we go. There's your K. And then if you make sure this is completely tucked up nicely, you can attach 
any sort of ribbon that you like. I've got this beautiful kind of um, sheer ribbon. So I'm going to pop that through and then I'll probably just do a knot like this and it's just beautiful. There we are. And then tie it around. pretty and that's just gorgeous so we are beautiful there's our play Denise I'm going to show you Kiki quickly okay so K's are a little bit hard to do in general but how I would do the K, so I would probably coat this wire, but you don't have to. Down. That, um, you are gonna have some pliers that are gonna be soft on those. So I would probably do kind of like that. <laughs> but when you get it exactly how you like it, then you're gonna love it. Okay, so Kiki is going to be K, I, as you would kind of expect. And what I would suggest really is just pick a font that you like and then you can print it out and then you can do it along with that. Oops, oh my goodness. And then a smaller K is going to be... going to go around like that as in a small K and then you're going to go like that kind of bring it all together looks like a pretty butterfly and then and you want it to be around like the same height as the eye kind of thing. <sighs> I hope you watched this and I hope you liked this, Denise. This is how I would do Kiki. Um, Thank you so much for watching guys and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and also hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. I bring out one every week and my name's Kat and I'm so glad that you're here with me today so I will see you next week. Bye!